What up, y'all? Conscious one, come back at you, guys. Just taking a trip back in past the past, the past, the past, the past. I'm in a South Side Chicago neighborhood right now. It's where a lot of gang activity. This is where the most, pretty much, the most gang activity happens in the city. Is the South Side of Chicago? You know, West Side. A lot more people be about that pimping and money. South Side they do a lot more gang banging. But I'm on this street right here, guys. I used to have some family that lived in this house over here. And I wasn't going to make this video, guys. But then I turned the corner and I saw something on the church. This is why I say you should never throw the baby out with the bathwater. You shouldn't be judging people because of religious affiliation. Because you never know what type of knowledge you can get out. There's truth in everything. There's a light and dark side to everything. Even gang banking. Gangs in Chicago. Gangs used to be for... Uh, righteousness but somebody came in and turned them evil you know gang members were supposed to be the people that was making sure everybody was okay in the, in the neighborhood and stuff like this you know but anyway guys I'm in the old south side of Chicago neighborhood I don't know if you call this the Garfield Park area I don't know what you call this let me let these cars go by so I can drive slow Yeah, I had a I had an auntie. Her name was I used to call her Auntie Bunny. She passed away when I was fourteen, uh, allegedly of oh, asthma attack. And uh, I mean, the thing about me was how this lady left behind ten ten children, and she was only thirty six years old. You know, you don't realize like when you when you fourteen, thirty six seems like an old an old ass person, <laughs> but here I am going on forty four. And I'm looking back and I'm like, wow, this woman really, really passed away early. Like, I mean, 36 years old, that's not even, man, 36 years old. I, just, I had just started living life at 36 years old. Anyway, let's go down this street, guys. Yeah, these South Side neighborhoods, man, they, they something else, though. That's cool vacant right there. I'm going to show you how the house people on my mom's side of the family used to live in. I used to spend night over there sometime. A lot of things I want to say, guys. But I'm going to keep this video cordial because it's all about the sign that I'm about to show y'all. Yeah, this is a house they used to live in. I used to spend, I used to spend, I always wanted to be around my cousins before I growing up. It says, oh, it's a strange sign in the window. It says, no smoking, no open flames. Oxygen in use. So I guess it's somebody, whoever lives in this house, they, they like, they on an oxygen tank. That's, man, that's, that's strange. Not too many people out right now, even though it's warm. But this this is a uh, this is one of those high crime areas. At least in in, in the mid '90s, it was. I don't know how it is now. I see a lot of places are boarded up and stuff like this. Well, I want to show y'all the sign that's around the corner. The sign that was on this church because it has a lot to do with my situation right now. South side of Chicago. This is this is the side that I mean in, in the night I don't know how it is now I, I would have to imagine that people a little bit more. Let me see who's this. I have to imagine that people are a little bit more uh, civilized now, but in the '90s, guys, this this area was rough, man. Real talk. If you was wearing the wrong colors, you was in trouble. Yeah, I think you call this the Garfield. 
Garfield Park area, south side of Chicago. I like cruising south side of Chicago because I didn't really spend too much time out this way growing up. But uh, south side of Chicago has a lot of, a lot, a lot of history. So it was this sign right here, guys, that made me drive back around and decide to do this video. At first, I wasn't going to do it, but then I seen the sign, and I was spirit away telling me, no, you got to do it. Oh, okay, let's see what it says. It says Fireball Faith Church. Man, that's an interesting name. It says Fireball Faith Church in Christ Jesus. It says, if you want love, give love in red letters. And it's in, it says, hell produces hell. Wow. Y'all know I'm finna use that as my thumbnail. It says, if you want love, give love. Hell produces hell. That's right. That's right. I gave I gave a lot of love. I like to think I gave a lot of love. Like I tell you guys, I'm not I'm not totally innocent. You know, I've done some wrong, mostly in my young my young years though. Like when I was like half the age I am now, I did a lot of stuff I wish I could take back, but I've been I've been uh I've been a good boy the past twenty years, guys. That's why it's good to stay busy. Like they always say keep busy, staying out of trouble. That was a good thing about staying busy. Even though I kept having all these towers in my life because of these uh people harassing me and stalking me in my life. I just try to look at the good of everything. You know, at least I stayed out of trouble and I had to work extremely hard to just stay above water because remember they didn't want me to have nothing they didn't want me to have no apartment they didn't want me to have no wife they didn't want me to have no children they didn't want me to have no house they didn't want me they didn't want me eating right they, they didn't want me to do nothing like who, who it's, it's just it blows my mind how people uh, exist like this out in the world but anyway guys I just wanted to show y'all that sign and that's definitely gonna be my thumbnail and I gotta get out of here I'll let y'all later peace